Good morning everyone, it's Camellia. Um Those who know me, well, hi. Those who don't know me, I am from North Africa, or Middle Eastern origin probably, uh, or Mediterranean. And uh, I was living in the UK now for most of my life. I'm actually a specialist doctor working in the NHS. I thought of sending this broadcast because it's very interesting time and one has to reflect on the deeper meaning of life. Um, one of the things that struck me is having to stop and sit at home and think. We seem to have been doing a lot of thinking <clears throat> but in the process we have lost touch of our humanity, of our planet earth, of our relationships, of everything that really matters. Having said so, in a split of a second, I would like to go back to that crazy life. Well, in fact, I've got a few days off and I am obliged to stay at home. Um, can't even go shopping. And when I did, it was an ordeal. I have to wait in line, I don't know, for an hour to quickly do a shop and come back. And then, you know, almost in a panicky state to wash everything down <laughs> and hope you haven't caught the virus. Can you imagine? An insignificant little particle of DNAs and protein compounds is actually hold or held the human race to ransom whether this is this particle is naturally made or human made or apologize for my quirky sense of humor alien made it's interesting to see that it wasn't nuclear war it wasn't nuclear bombs it wasn't religion it wasn't your next door neighbor it's not your enemy it's an insignificant little particle that has held us all to ransom. That, that's quite a thought. It's not the bully in the street, it's not the guns, it's not the knives, it's not your enemy, it's not anybody else. It's just something that you can't even see. That has left us with thinking about really what's important. I found myself after years of being buried under books and work and so on, sort of like, you know, someone coming out of the shadows hit by the light that I started connecting with my families and friends all over the world. And it was a real joy. But I also found that I've lost the skill of how to communicate. Um, if they talk about their illness or medicine, I'm very good, I'm clever, I'm confident. But if they talk about anything else, I'm sort of stumbling. You know, like toilet papers. I mean, how many toilet papers do you need? <laughs> to keep you going for the next month or so. Interesting. I absolutely interesting. Well, now let's think deeper about issues of um, the meaning of our lives. Has it been a waste of time? I don't think so. I think all of you, um, even the laziest ones, 
and the most active ones. I've done so much and so many times it's not for your own glory but it is for everyone else is for um, helping each other for making a better life for each other for um, bringing joy to each other and for those who have faith bringing faith or making it stronger it's not a bad thing to believe in a higher power. I'm a Christian and I believe in Jesus Christ and the Lord Almighty. And I know a lot of my friends who have other beliefs also believe in higher power. And those who don't believe in higher power believe in some cosmic force or whatever. Having something up there that looks after you gives you comfort is not crazy because it's partly of our comes of our childhood we looked up to our parents or guardians to look after us and protect us and give us what we need and so having a higher power of faith is not a bad thing even if you think it's your parents who may have passed away looking after you or your parents who are still there looking after you or you feel you need to look after them and with that thought there is some form of consolation <clears throat> that we're not alone it's very very important we are not alone we all of us even when we send around serious jokes, silly jokes, serious reports about the situation, false news, it just, I think it just says, look, we're here and, you know, I want to connect with you. I mean, some of the stuff can be <laughs> not to one's liking, but. The majority is actually quite sensible and and then for those that have outlandish um, uh, false news or false uh, therapies or false whatever you just kind of quietly say you know what just be careful it's really not true I mean in reality we all wish uh, there, there is a cure now before tomorrow uh, immediately you know or yesterday um, we wish there is um, a preventative measure that is easy and acceptable there is but it means you've got to stay at home um, some of us haven't seen even our houses ever you buy the house you live in it and you hardly know what's in the corner you kind of stuffed stuff in it and you just get on get on with it and 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 well at least i'm talking about myself okay and then you come at night and you're thinking oh yeah this there's this that but to be honest um for example i'm looking only for um what do you call a tape which i bought not long ago or maybe long ago and i know i've got it and i know it's somewhere in the house and it's really kept very safe it is so safe that i can't find it i mean these are simple examples and i don't think it's because i lost my memory it's just uh, we actually don't connect even with our own houses it's it's a you know unfortunate side effect of uh, of our busy lives Going down memory lane, it's, it's sometimes nice to remember the days when you didn't have to care about anything and you knew someone there is looking after you and um, provides your meals and a shelter and you don't particularly have to go to work except to, to go to school and study and prove that 
you know, you're up to standard. Some may like that and some really hated it. Um, and I have examples in my own family of people who really, really hated it and some who actually loved it. I mean, it was, it gave them confidence, it gave them a reason to live and it gave them a future. Well done. Those who didn't like it obviously found alternative routes to earn a living. 